Mmm. I feel fancy drinking from this cup. Hey nerds. So I am going to show you how I make a cup of coffee. And the reason I think this is interesting is because we use a thing called an AeroPress. I'm really excited to show you guys how I make a cup of coffee. It's really interesting. So come along on this journey with me. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on. The light turns blue. I'm gonna hit set, make sure it's set at the temperature I want. I want it at 180 and as it's setting, it's going to turn this kettle on. Hey, future Amanda here. I forgot to mention that I put water in this kettle. I'm pretty sure that's apparent. And if you've ever used an electric kettle, you know what I'm talking about. But I just wanted to say the kettle is heating up water, not the coffee. While this kettle is getting started, I'm gonna go ahead and get my coffee together. So for this part, I'm going to take some freshly ground coffee that I've made and I'm going to take my AeroPress and I'm going to put it together. I'm going to take this little thing. This is a filter that I put inside and it connects right here and you go click. And then there you have the AeroPress. I'm going to take this and I'm going to do one scoop of coffee. This is literally only going to make like an espresso's worth of coffee. After I dump that in there, I'm going to shake it to make it flat. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my cup and I'm actually going to be fancy today. Now, here's the fun part. I'm going to take my electric kettle, and on this, there are some lines, some numbers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up to just past the number one, because that's how much water I want to be mixed with my rinds. Now I'm going to take this tool, and I'm going to stir it all together. I'm going to take this little suction-y, plungy tool, and I'm gonna put it right on top. Oops. Make sure it seals. Good enough. I'm gonna let this steep for five minutes or so, maybe 10 minutes, just depending on how I'm feeling. And then I'm gonna plunge it and show you the coffee that I've made. Okay, so this has been steeping for a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and plunge it. Now, when you're plunging it, you've gotta be super careful because you don't wanna push too fast. If you push too fast, then you'll force the water out, which could rip that filter we have at the bottom, which means you'll get grounds in there. And you're left with a delicious cup of espresso coffee. The moment of truth. Did I make my coffee right? Cheers. Ooh, that tastes really good. Anyway, thanks y'all for checking in and don't forget to be awesome.